it's a very tactile experience for me on stage. You know, the drop that I use in the show is from 1975. My mother painted it, and the and the photos that are projected. So if there's ever a moment that I am am not in it, I have so many reminders. This is like actually one of the few family portraits that I have. <laughs> I just remember, you know, the the smell of that costume, that gorilla costume. You know, it was basically plastic. My father was very strong. I could just climb on the guy. And he wouldn't even have to be looking at me. You know, I could just run and try to tackle him and it would just, you know, bounce off. This is Bill Irwin as Willie the Clown. This was Bill's last day. And what he's being given here is a, a, a nut and a bolt in a jewelry box because he was, I think, the captain of the bleacher crew. This was rehearsal, rehearsing, tripping. So the, the ring was in the shade, and that was always fantastic because the floor drop wouldn't be so hot in the summer in Arizona. Your acrobatics got really good because you, know, you didn't want your hands or your feet to ever touch the mat. This is in between shows, uh, eating quickly. It looks like I actually got some food from the Midway, which I didn't usually do. And my parents didn't you know, want me having sugar and no soda. Yeah, like a rice cracker and vanilla yogurt was a fantastic dessert. <laughs> no, they, they would let me, I mean, we'd have ice cream and stuff, but you know, you know. This is in front of my house in San Francisco. I think I was told to pack, and I think I packed my Legos. That's what's in the suitcase. And I'm terrified that I was wearing a beret. And cowboy boots. You know, it's a good outfit I got going on. And, and a denim vest. It's, it's good. This is the drop that I use in the show. And when we hang the drop on stage, and you can see this uh, old uh, circus wagon wheel that's painted, when I walk up to that wagon wheel now, and how little it is, that I'm shorter than the wagon wheel in this photo, uh, that's pretty wild. What I love about this, it kind of illustrates how great, from backstage, you could hear the audience so well. It was a thin piece of canvas separating you. So to me, what I, I just hear the crowd and the band. Even now, when I do a play, the, ha the noise of the house, it's like it's a party. It's a good thing. It's a great thing. Performing with my father. Okay, so he does that gesture. I have to wait, wait, then I would do that gesture. I didn't quite understand this, necessarily the narrative that I was trying to convey. I didn't understand my father's humor. To me, it was so slow. He's incredibly patient with an audience. And he'll let people just sit there for a long time. I mean, he, he, it's like Beckett in that way. I liked when he fell down a lot. I liked when he did the acrobatics. And I liked it when something went wrong because he's such a deft uh, improviser. It wasn't until I was adult that I thought, wow, that's smart. That is, and it's brave to do that.